Okay, guys, let's do a very sneaky sail nagi. All right. Remember, sail nagi means to carry over the back. Sail a carry over the back nagi to throw. All right. Now we have morote sail nagi, pon sail nagi, eri sail nagi, sode sail nagi. Okay, here's one that is, you know, it's old-fashioned. It's cool. It's one of those things. If while we're engaged in fighting in round door air tournament, his key comes open. He doesn't see this coming. He, he thinks if I'm going to say now, it's going to happen up here. He's going to see this hand somehow operating. Okay? But he's not going to see a grab low on his apron of his gi, his sosu. This is the sosu, the apron of the gi, the below the belt. So if that comes open, or I'm going to pull it out, pop it open, and I catch it here, I have enough. It's a nice handle. Okay? Now, when we're fighting here, gripping everything, I want to make sure to set him up. I'm going to get a low sleeve grip down here, so I've got a lot of space. I have a long grip here. See that? Okay. If I grab too high up here, I don't have a lot of room to move. So I want to give myself a lot of space down here. And it's going to be a knee drop seven nine is what it'll be. So I got it here, and we're fighting, and I start to move it down here. I see I've got this here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to swing it under, just like I might swing his arm under. Swing my arm under. The swing is apron and that catches them quite well so we're down here working working right here and i'm going to swing in there's the same thing see that and i'm going to throw them and it is it's very sneaky because that gi will come open and see he's got room here and when he does he'll spin under and you throw you use the sosu the apron of the jugi you had a question? No, I it was really far. Right. So when you're doing this, this is a good, very, how this will work in real practice is you got to be moving with it. This is one of the serenagi, you know, and you drop serenagi, it's a very fast, explosive throw coming out of movement. So when we're actually fighting, moving around here, he doesn't suspect you're dropping low, and when you do that, there you go. You use that lapel, that actually the sosu, instead of the lapel. And really it's just an extension of the lapel, all the way down. But you see how he grabs low, spot. You, you wrap him. It almost looks like you're doing it wrong, like you're throwing him over your shoulder. You kind of have to because you're throwing your arm so deep. That lapel comes so, so deep under. Do it kind of slow. It's kind of coming real slow. Pop it under. See how? See, it's a very deep throw. See how much he is carrying him over the back. And when he finishes it, boom, right over. The you can do it as a stand-up version. Uh, Say a toshi where you you know come on one side and pop, you can do any of those things. But as a knee drop, it's quite effective, especially in today's modern style of judo and sambo. Because a lot of times, I know in sambo, the jackets are so tight, aren't they? Yeah. It's really hard to get a good Sayanagi grip on that. So I might have to pop it open and just get something down here. So that could be the case also. Yeah. So one more time and then we'll let you guys practice. So soon, Sarah Boom, there you go. Okay? Good on it? Give it a try. We've been doing the, uh, some of you guys will really like this one. Because this sosu, you know, the uh, apron serenagi, it allows you to get so deep under your opponent, let, get your, lets your hips get really, really deep. So the variation where the, we, what we call a straight line serenagi, we just do a basic straight line serenagi, just don't kill them, just pick it. See that? See the one foot shoot back? Okay? That's more of a straight line into it. Uh, this sosu variation allows a real good deep hip entry into this and Derek and Steve and I were talking about this and Derek says actually this allows me more power into the throw to set it see how deep he is there with that so it, instead of like a morote seinagi or a higher lapel grip or even a, any pawn seinagi here like that type of thing look how deep you can swing this arm under and let your hip get it super deep and shoot and boom and it's a nice stand up variation of seinagi is what it is so it, it Again, a sosu or lapel apron uh, or lapel of the judo gi 
um, Sayanagi, he swings under, deep, there, and toss him. Now again, we're staying with the same tenets of how to do this throw, in that he's got a low sleeve grip here, so he has a lot of room here to move, okay? And he's got a low apron grip here. Okay, so it's basically apron Sayanagi, and you swing it under, it's almost like Morote Sayanagi now, isn't it? Very similar. Okay, but he swings in, and he shoots. Very powerful throw. Some of you guys may like that, especially you guys who are Tayotoshi guys, good Sayanagi guys, or you may stick with that knee drop Sayanagi, certainly that's good too. There you go. So it's Sosu, but it's more of a stand-up, straight line Sayanagi version. Okay? Want to play with that? Just can't help but throw, right? Eric's <laughs> 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 yeah. so so throwing some more, it's usually Eric first. getting more. <laughs> All right, but let's try that if you want as a variation of the knee drop Sayanagi, the knee drop Sosu Sayanagi. Okay? Is everybody feeling some good success with that or experiencing? Because it really is a sneaky Sayanagi. It really is. Okay? All right, let's keep working on it.